In this video, we're going to talk about how to write linear equations, particularly if you're given the slope and a point, if you're given two points, if you're given a data table. And we're going to talk about how to put it in its three different forms, slope intercept form, point slope form, and in standard form. So the first kind of question that you might see is write the linear equation given the slope, let's say it's 2, and the y-intercept 0, negative 3. If you're given a slope and a y-intercept, the best thing to do is to put it in slope-intercept form using the equation y is equal to mx plus b. The y-intercept is the b value. So all you need to do is replace m and b. m is 2, b is negative 3. So the equation in slope-intercept form is y equals 2x minus 3. Let's try another example. So let's say if you're given the slope 1 over 3 and the y-intercept negative, actually positive 5. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. So all you need to do is replace m and b. That's it for this type of problem. So the answer is y is equal to 1 over 3x plus 5. Now let's talk about how to write a linear equation given two points. Let's say the two points are 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 7. Now the first thing that you need to do is find a slope between these two points. The equation that you need is this. m, the slope, is equal to the change in the y values, y2 minus y1, divided by the change in the x values, x2 minus x1. So x1 is the x-coordinate of the first point, and 3 is y1. The second point is going to have x2, that's the x-coordinate for the second point. y2 is the y-coordinate for the second point. So now we just got to plug it into the formula. y2 is 7, y1 is 3. x2 is 3, x1 is 1. 7 minus 3 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now we have a slope of 2. Once you have the slope, then you can write the equation in standard form or slope into set form or any form you need to. In this example, we're going to write the equation first in point slope form. Here's the formula if you want to write it in point slope form. y1 is 3, m is 2, x1 is 1. You can use this point or you can use the other point. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer. So this is the answer in point slope form. Now, if you want the answer in slope intercept form, you need to get y by itself on one side of the equation. So first, let's distribute the 2 to x minus 1. So it's going to be 2x minus 2. Next, let's add 3 to both sides. So y is equal to 2x, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So this is the answer in slope intercept form. Now let's convert it to standard form. In standard form, the x and the y variables have to be on the same side. So we need to move the 2x to the left side. If we subtract both sides by 2x, we're going to have negative 2x plus 1y is equal to 1. Now, I like to get rid of this negative sign, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So I'm going to change the sign of everything. So we're going to have positive 2x minus 1y, or simply minus y, is equal to negative 1. So this is the linear equation in standard form. So now you're familiar with all three forms. The first one that we talked about is the point slope form, which you can use this equation. Next, we have the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And finally, standard form, ax plus by equals c. So make sure you're aware of these three different forms. Now let's work on another example. Let's say x is negative 2 and y is 1, and x is 3 and let's say y is 16. 
go ahead and write the linear equation in slope intercept form. You don't have to put it in the other forms, just get it into slope intercept form. Now I'm going to use a method that's different from the last example. I'm going to use the slope intercept form directly. But first, we need to calculate the slope. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So the slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. y2 is 16, y1 is 1. x2 is 3, x1 is negative 2. 16 minus 1 is 15. 3 minus negative 2 is the same as 3 plus 2, which is 5. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the slope is 3. Now let's use the slope intercept form formula. y equals mx plus b. Now I'm going to choose the second point, 316. So what we need to do, if you're going to use this formula directly, you need to find the value of b. We have the value of y. y is 16. We know m is 3. And x is also 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And b, to find it, we got to subtract both sides by 9. So 16 minus 9 is 7. Once you have b and m, you can now write the equation in slope intercept form. All you need to do is replace m and b, b is 7. So the answer in this example is y is equal to 3x plus 7. Now you also need to be able to write linear equations if you're given a graph. Given this particular graph, write a linear equation in slope intercept form. If you could find a slope in the y intercept, then you can easily write it. Notice that the y intercept, where the graph touches the y axis, is negative 3. So therefore, we know that b is negative 3. Now, to find a slope, you can use rise over run. m, the slope, is the rise which is the change in y values, y2 minus y1, divided by the run, which is the change in x values, x2 minus x1. So to go from the first point to the second point, you need to rise 3 units and run 4 units. So it's rise over run, it's 3 over 4. Now that we have the slope and the y-intercept, we can write the equation of the line. So replace m with 3 over 4 and replace b with negative 3. So this is the answer in slope intercept form. y is equal to 3 over 4 x minus 3. Let's look at another example. This time, go ahead and write the equation in standard form. Let's say it passes through these two points. So notice that the y-intercept is 3. So b is equal to 3 in this example. And now let's find a slope. The rise, it's going down, so the rise is negative 3. The run is 5 units. So the slope is rise over run, negative 3 divided by 5. The equation in slope-intercept form is going to be negative 3 over 5x plus 3. So that's the answer in slope-intercept form. But we want to get it in standard form. So we need to get the x and the y variables on one side of the equation. To do that, let's get rid of the fraction. Let's multiply everything by 5. So we're going to have 5y is equal to 5 times negative 3 x over 5, the 5's will cancel, leaving behind negative 3x. And then we need to multiply 3 by 5, which is positive 15. Now all we need to do at this point is add 3x to both sides. 
So 3x plus 5y is equal to positive 15. And so this is the answer. This is the linear equation in standard form. And this is the answer in slope intercept form if you need it to be in that form. Now sometimes you might be given a data table. And let's say the data on this table represents a linear equation. How can you use this information to write a linear equation first in point slope form and then in slope intercept form? Now all you need to do is pick two out of the many points that are in this table. And you can just write the linear equation based on a previous example that we covered earlier in the video. So let's focus on these two points. So my first ordered pair is going to be 5 comma 3. The second is 7 comma 7. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So therefore the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 is 7, y1 is 3, x2 is 7, x1 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4, 7 minus 5 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the slope is positive 2. Now that we have the slope, we can write the equation in point slope form. So let's use this formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. y1 is 3, m is 2, x1 is 5. So I'm using this point, but you can use any one of the four points. You can use this point, you can use that one. It's going to work. You'll get the same answer. So this is the equation in point slope form. But now let's get the answer in slope in a set form. So let's distribute the two. It's going to be 2x and then 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10. Now let's add 3. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. So this is the answer in slope-intercept form. So y is equal to 2x minus 7. And that's it.